Good morning. I'm Helen White, Georgia, and I'm out here this morning to go start a new project. I'm a birdhouse from an old sweater sleeve, and I'm going to dip it in uh, Portland cement and see how it turns out. We're going to make something, whatever, <laughs> whatever it turns out after we start. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching this video and have a blessed day. And please subscribe if you would like to. Thank you. Put my Portland cement in. I strained it so I could get some of the little lumps out. This is my Georgia sand. I'm putting about equal amount of both. the water. This is comb sort of thin today because I'm dipping my cloth in the cement to wet it and it's real thick. Okay. I think that's going to be right. This is an old sweater that I had that uh, I didn't wear anymore so I, I bought this little flower pot at uh, Dollar Tree use it today to put over this and dip it in Portland cement let it harden and make a birdhouse out of it okay let me, let me cut this this is long enough. My old scissors just cut everything in the world from aluminum flashing to cloth and they just about are about to run out of cutting. use all kind of things that you have around your house like old sweater sleeves or whatever you can find that will hold cement and it doesn't matter what color it is because after you dip it in cement it's going to be a cement color <laughs> That's what it looks like. And I've cut the bottom a little bit where it'll fold over. I'm just going to leave the pot in there because it was only a dollar. I'm cutting this where it'll fold up under the pot easier. Get through this one with these. I don't know if I can sharpen them or not. down so okay I'm going to dip this in cement oh I got to I've got to cut a hole for my birdhouse
that's big enough for a bluebird. All right, now I'm going to dip this. Dip it in there now. And let it get soaked. this under. Okay. There it is. I have to put my hole there for my bird to go in. This is a piece of plastic that I've cut up from a plastic drink bottle and I'm going to roll it up to fit this hole so the hole will stay This is going to be the top of my birdhouse. It's a piece of flashing that roofers use to put on the top of the house to keep it from leaking. And I cut a round circle and I cut a little place in it where I could put it together. I'll tape it. This is just a little thin throw that I, I got from Walmart. 
They had them on sale since winter's about gone. almost hasn't been winter. I'm going to take this around here and let it dry. I'm making another birdhouse. Out of this little container that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm cutting a hole. I hope it's in my cloth in here. want to change the shape of this so I'm do something else. Okay. I'm about to try putting something around here that I'll make it a little bigger at the bottom.
just putting plastic bags in here so I can, so it'll be a, a little shape different than the rest of them. I've never done this before. I'm just, I just want to try it and see if it'll make my pot a little more different shape than the rest. Okay, I'm going to take this around there and let it dry. See how that turns out. <laughs> 